the hell are you? What's up everyone? This is Mr. Blackson from Team Blacksmith. Welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm going to do a quick tabletop dissection of my Alien Retro by Lago Arms. Chambered in 9mm. The most unique handgun on the market. 1911, 2011, you name it, Atlas, Takato, Nighthawk. Alien definitely separates itself from those group of guns because it is in its own class with the low bore access barrel, shoots from the bottom. Amazing trigger. The grip is reminiscent, very unique to CZ design, the ergonomics of it. And 17 round mags that come with the Alien and also with the Alien Retro. Um, there are no aftermarket mags, so you have to buy them all from Lago Arms. So set that there, no ammo, main safe, and the trigger. There's the wall right there, brakes, reset, right there. Beautiful trigger, amazing design, low reciprocating mass on the slide. Of course, with the retro, the optic plates connected to the slide, as you can see there. And I chose to go with the Delta Point Pro by Leopold, but as you can see, you can also put on the Trigicon RMR SRO on the plate there and um, a few other rear dots you can place on this optic plate. And like I said, very unique, love this. And the, the takedown is really easy. And it just pop out the pin there up front. Now the pin does not come out, but you can feel when it's disengaged from the top slide. And just do a quick push here in the back. Push that forward, as you see it disconnects. And just so, Gently, as much as you can, push it from the back, push the top slide out. And that comes out there. As you can see, the hammer hits the firing pin from the top there. Again, very unique design, very different, very inventive by Lago Arms. And you can see the this low mass on the slide that makes this the flattest shooting gun on the market, bar none. I do not compare it to any other gun in my collection because you really can't compare this to any other gun. It stands alone, separates itself from the pack. All right, so the slide comes out. You just a little quick shift, pull one back there, lifts out. You see, very unique design must have it oiled to have this work properly. Unique there, as you can see the pin sits in the back where the hammer hits it from behind. Very unique, very unique. And let's get into the guts of the alien with this dissection. As you can see the spring, recoil spring, very different. Who comes up with this stuff? But beautiful design in the gas block here. Uh, the only downside, this gets really dirty. The whole inside here gets really dirty, but the takedown is very easy. So if you're in a match and it gives you, so it gives you issues, just disassemble it, cleaning fluid solution, clean it right out, and you get it back together within minutes, not probably seconds and you're back in the game. Look, you see the barrel is fixed. Barrel does not move, it does have two pins here, uh, which I will not demonstrate that because I have not done it before. Haven't seen any demonstration from LIGO Arms on how to remove the barrel. 
but that makes it the most flat in shooting because there's no movement on the barrel, only the slide. You can see very little mass there. But the cons, very dirty, gets very dirty quick, depending on the type of ammo you're using. Uh, so stay on top of keeping it clean. And I had to buy the Magwell, of course, separately because I didn't buy the full kit. Grip, very aggressive. And you can see it's reminiscent, reminiscent of a CZ. It actually feels look, definitely like a CZ. And you can see the under up there. Very grip under the in there and really be able to get up under there to get an amazing grip on the alien. All right, so we dissected the alien real quick there. Now let's stitch her back up and see how easy it is. So spring goes back on there, see? As you can see, it pushes back in there and just get the slide see the little pop forward pull the spring back and it slides right in and for the top slide i just lift the hammer up to get it over the barrel there and push it right back and give it a quick tap and we're back in business. Like I said, beautiful design, quick breakdown, gets dirty, quick clean job, disassemble, clean it, and you're back in the game. Now, a couple times that I've ran it in the couple of competitions, the slide does get hot, but not to the point where it's burning your fingers or you can't handle the gun anymore because in the competition, you're only running a couple maybe 50 rounds through it at the most, depending on the type of competition, but it does cool off pretty quickly. Uh, so no issues for me using this in a competition. All right, so that is my Alien Retro dissection and beautiful design. Love this gun, great addition to my collection. But I wanted to show you something else that I was found on Amazon. Now I've seen someone else on YouTube show this, a couple of people, but, and it's probably like a year old. So the Bane Shot Tactical Advantage group came up with an interesting red laser. And you see why well, I'm excited by getting it because it's not like any other laser on the market because it's reminiscent of the Predator targeting system. The very unique triangle design of this makes it the perfect red laser for the alien retro now the only downside to this thing is i had to shave a little bit of the slide there because it wasn't actually getting on sliding on the picatinny rail so just moved there that's only the downside this is fixed like I said, quick release on there and lock in. Uh, but again, very nostalgic. Had to get it. Like I said, if you don't have an alien, uh, I'm sure you will love this on any type of gun you have. So I'm going to cut off the lights, show you how it looks with the lights off. But great addition. So I'm going to put the link in my description on where to purchase it. Of course, Amazon. Put the link. It'll take you right to it. Under $100. Uh, but cannot beat this. Very beautiful, very unique, very nostalgic. Uh, definitely have that predator feel. So that is it. So definitely go out and purchase this. You will not be disappointed. Uh, and that is my tabletop dissection of my Alien Retro. All right, so that's all I have. And this is Mr. Blackson and Team Blacksmith. As always, like, share, and hit that subscribe button. Come on, hit that subscribe button. I got great more content to come, and I am out.